I'm going to be making churros. We're making a Mexican feast, so we might as well have a Mexican dessert. This is nothing more than a good fried dough in a cinnamon sugar. In my heavy pot, I have four tablespoons of butter, one cup of water, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and a pinch of salt. I'm gonna go over to the stove and bring this to a boil, then I'll bring it back and finish it. Okay, we've got a boil going here. Now I'm gonna add one cup of flour, mix that in. And then I have my little handy mixer ready and we're going to beat in four eggs. our mixture. Now I'm going to put this into a piping bag and wait till my oil comes up to 375 degrees and then we'll start making churros. All right so Pam and I started without you. We were testing out the dough to make sure it was good because to me it looked a little bit watery. Turns out it looks great. So we're going to pipe them about what do you say four inches mm -hmm. long? Yep. Please. And they're so light, they're like floating to the top. And Pam, I've taken the first batch out. Pam's gonna sugar them while they're still warm. And this dough might seem like it's a little bit runny. That's why I wanted to test it out off camera. Cause to me, it looked a little bit runny today, but it turns out they just puffed really nice, they did. didn't they? So we're gonna try one of these. Oh, those look, they look perfect. They look these tremendous. Are beautiful. They're really beautiful and they're warm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cook them about what, two minutes on each side. Not long. Just these are nice and golden, golden brown. And they're light. So it's not going to be like a big heavy dough. I guess I like these with the shape that you use that tip. Yeah, um, I forgot to mention that. Good for you. Um, I used a regular pastry tip, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I was telling Pam earlier, you don't have to have that pastry tip. You could just put this in a Ziploc freezer bag, cut the edge off, and you just have round tubes instead of these. But these are so much prettier. And this uh, tip, I think in a lot of um, uh, cake decorating stores, you can get these in some of the big discount stores. Yep. And you can buy the pastry tips for a dollar or two. Oh, that's cheap. So and it makes these nice little ridges. That's what, to me, you a know churro what? is. Right. Little... And I think you get more of that fried flavor and more of the sugar sticks in those ridges. Yeah. So could you do it without it? Yeah, probably. But why? It's so inexpensive. Don't skimp on the pastry tip. <laughs> yeah, don't skimp on the Come pastry on. tip. Come on. It's a dollar. Here we go. We're coming to the end of our dough as the last one. Yum. You know what, this would be nice. I was just thinking, you could pull this off on a Sunday morning. Really, when you got up, had your cup of coffee, you know, the rest of the family's just waking up. Someone's trying to find the newspaper. When they smell this going on. Yeah, they'll come running. And then you say, good morning, happy Sunday. Here's your nice hot plate of- Oh, me, I did it just for warm you. Warm churros, <laughs> and I did it just for you. Yeah, and me. <laughs> tell you. Okay, those need a couple more minutes. Perfect. So I'll that's our churros and we hope you try them. They really were that difficult. You will be sad if you don't try them. They're yep. delicious.